Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just have one of my regular videos that I do on here. I have some empty products for you. I've used up so many products lately and I just had to film this video because I cannot, I cannot add to this stash any longer but I'm just gonna give a little review of everything just to let y'all know if I will repurchase it or not and I have a lot so let's go ahead and get started first thing I used up is this Jergens natural glow firming moisturizer this is really good to kind of extend your tan I really do like this and I go through these pretty fast so yes I, um, I actually already have a new one um, so yeah love this stuff Next thing, I have this L'Oreal um, Smooth Intense Polishing Shampoo and Conditioner. I picked this up one day whenever I couldn't get to the store where I can get like professional brands. Um, so I picked this up. It's okay. I mean, it's a drugstore type shampoo and conditioner, so it's not like amazing. But um, if I had to repurchase it, I probably would. So yeah. I used up another one of my Peter Thomas Roth Beta Hydroxy Acid 2% Face Wash. This is great for acne. I um, have gotten a new one. I got the one from Kiehl's. It's for acne. So I won't repurchase this right now, but this is definitely one of my all-time favorite washes for if you have any kind of acne. I used up this MAC Mineralize Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. This is a really really like gritty exfoliator for your face. Um, and it literally comes out like volcanic ash like black <laughs> I mean I don't know if you can see that on the lid but it's like pretty bad it's like black and gooey um but this is really good I don't think I repurchased it because I didn't notice anything like amazing with it and every time I exfoliated with it I didn't feel like it completely got my dead skin off even though it's really gritty I just didn't feel like it did the job so I probably won't repurchase this because I have so many other ones that are like way better I used up the Herbalism Face Wash from Lush. I did enjoy this stuff, but I won't repurchase it because number one, I didn't notice anything with my skin when I used it. And number two, the other ones that I've used before are way better, so I won't repurchase this. But if you do have oily skin, this is good for um, kind of keeping your oil like on the down low, but I won't repurchase it again. I used up the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This was a perfect moisturizer for the daytime. I put this on every morning after I wash my face and it protected my skin from the sun. Um, it has SPF 30 in it so it was really good for the sun and it this one is for normal to dry skin so it was just a perfect moisturizer. It wasn't like too thick for the daytime but it also I also felt like I had moisturizer on my face. I didn't feel like I needed anything else. So I will repurchase this eventually, but I'm going through an Estee Lauder one right now. So I won't get this right now, but this is a really, really good one from the drugstore. I didn't use this up, but I mentioned this because I know Ulta's got, got rid of studio gear, but I got this studio gear in enriched eye cream. No, this is disgusting. No, no. It's like literally, I don't know what it is, but you put this on and you literally feel like you have nothing under your eye. So I can't repurchase it anyway, but I just want to, if y'all know, if y'all see this on sale or something at Ulta because they're like getting rid of it, don't get it. It sucks. Just letting y'all know. I used up these Peter Thomas Roth Gentle Complexion Correction Pads. This is the gentle one, so it only has 10% glycolic acid and half a percent of sal salicylic acid. The strong ones have like 2% salicylic acid, which is stronger <laughs> but yeah these are awesome I loved this especially whenever I was breaking out really bad and number one the smell of these oh it's like a peach peachy kind of scent oh I love these these are really really good they helped uh, keep my skin clear but honestly I feel like I could get away with using the more strong ones so if you have like if you get a breakout like around that time of month or something then these would be perfect for you but if you break out like continuously then you probably should get the stronger ones but yeah I will repurchase these these are awesome I used up this um, scrub from philosophy micro delivery exfoliating wash this stuff is awesome. It's really, really fine um, beads in it, and it just really gives you an amazing scrub. I don't know if I'll repurchase it just because I'm so picky about my exfoliators, and I feel like 
Sometimes I would love this and sometimes I wouldn't. It's really good for a daily kind of exfoliator, but if you're wanting to really get in there and like scrub away everything, it's not really gonna do that. So I probably won't repurchase it, but it, it was really good while I did have it. I used up another one of my Redken All Soft Shampoo and Conditioners. This is one of my all time favorite lines. I absolutely love this stuff. It is perfect if you have kind of dry, brittle, damaged hair or curly hair because it gives you so much moisture and it just, oh, it just feels so amazing on your hair. So yeah, I probably will repurchase this eventually because I don't know, I always tend to go back to this one. I really, really love it. I used up another Purity Face Wash. I absolutely love this stuff. It's perfect to take your makeup off. You can put it all in your eyes. Not in your eyes, but you can put it all over your eyes. You can take mascara off, waterproof, eyeshadow, eyeliner, everything. And it's really good for your face. So yeah, I definitely need to repurchase another one of these. I love Purity. I used up this L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Day Night Cream. This was really nice, especially for the drugstore. I don't know the ingredients. I don't know the ingredients and stuff, um, so I don't know exactly how good it is for your skin, if you know what I mean, but it felt really nice, and it smelled really good, so I probably, if I had to, I definitely would repurchase this. I used up one of my Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balms. This is my holy, holy grail of lip balm. I put this on my lips every single night, slather it on like it ain't no tomorrow, and I love this. I literally cannot believe that I finally finished this, but this is gone. I used it in every little corner that it was in. But yeah, I absolutely love this stuff, and I already repurchased this because I could not live without this in my life. I used up another one of my Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oils. I love, love, love this oil. It is perfect for taking your makeup off. I literally just pump some in my hand, rub it all over my face, all over my eyes, mascara, everything, and it just melts everything away, and it is just the bomb. I need to um, repurchase this again because I am obsessed with this stuff. I have not found anything that I like better, so holy grail. Okay, y'all, I finally finished this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. I This is the smaller bottle, okay? And she told me, she's like, yeah, this will last you about a month. <laughs> no, this lasted me literally, I think, ooh, maybe eight months. I'm not even kidding you. This is expensive, very expensive but it lasted me so, so long. When I first started using it, I loved it. I like was obsessed with it. It made my skin look so gorgeous, and I guess maybe my skin got used to it, so I probably won't repurchase it because like towards the end, I was just using it just to use it up, but this is really, really good. I used up a sample of the Kiehl's Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. This is supposed to be a serum for the daytime, and it's kind of like when you pump it out, it looks like a silicone type feel, but when you put it on your face, it almost like, it absorbs like water. So, I don't know. I mean, I didn't see anything different, and I actually used two packs of it. I didn't see anything different, and I used it for, and one of these packs lasts you like two weeks. Um, so, I used it for like a month straight, and it really, I didn't see any difference, so I won't repurchase it, but I mean, free products, whatever. I'll try it out. I finished off this Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. I love this stuff. It had like a peachy, kind of like a peachy color to it. So it was really awesome in the morning, especially um, before I go work out because it kind of like corrected that area a little bit and like woke me up. So I probably will repurchase this eventually, but I do have something I'm trying to go through right now. So yeah, this is really, really good stuff for the daytime. I don't use it at night, but I did enjoy it for the morning. I used up this sample of the Bare Minerals Biolucent Mineral Brightening Treatment. I didn't notice anything different with this. I used the full, the full bottle, and it's like a serum that you use, I guess, day and night, and it's supposed to illuminate your skin. I saw no difference in my skin, so I won't repurchase it, but, I mean, some people love this stuff, so I don't know. I used up one of my Retin-A creams. I do use Retin-A on my skin, I, not all the time, but I kind of switch it between another like AHA serum, but I use the 0.05% 
I'm gonna see if I can bump it up to like 0.75. But if you are having acne problems or if you have wrinkles, if you have large pores, anything like that, and you can afford to go to the dermatologist, definitely go to it and ask for them to give you some sort of Retin-A cream or this is called Tretinoin. I think it's maybe just like a generic name. I have no clue, but that's what they prescribed me. I got lucky and my insurance pretty much paid it all, but I hear that a lot of times people have to pay full price for it. And they say this little bitty tube is like $85, but I paid like 10. Okay. So I love this stuff. I just, it just is so good. Seriously. So good. Mm, I love it. I tried this sample of the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. I really do like this stuff. I'm going through another sample right now, this size, and I really do like this. I really think I'm going to repurchase it because I feel like every time, like, I have these, like, like a few little just pigmentation scars from um, acne in the past right here, and I feel like they have diminished, like, they faded a little bit because of this stuff. So, I think I'm going to repurchase this whenever I run out, of the, run out of the other one because I really think that this stuff is working. I used up this sample of the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. I didn't see a dang thing happen with my skin when I used this, so no, I won't repurchase it, but it was fancy for the time being. She actually gave me like five of those samples and I'm still going through the other ones and I still had noticed nothing, so whatever. I used up this Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is an amazing, amazing primer. If you have extremely oily skin, this is perfect because it combats the oil and it just smooths the surface to where your makeup just looks so beautiful. And I absolutely love this. I really, really want to repurchase it. The big size is like 50 bucks, but I think I'm gonna have to repurchase this one because this is amazing, I love it. I finished off this Too Faced Perfect Lips lip liner in the color Perfect Spice. This, these lip liners in general are the bomb. They're so creamy, so buttery, and they let stay on the lips. I absolutely love these liners. Um, I don't know if I repurchase them because I have so many, and I don't know. I probably won't repurchase it because it's like twenty dollars, and I can get a discount with Mac. So I don't know. It's good though. Really I used up this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Actually, two of them. This one. Sorry about my phone. This one and the Travel Size. And I love this mascara. I use, like I did a video a long time ago and said that I didn't really like this mascara. But I don't know. It's really good now. I love it. So, yeah. I will repurchase this. It's really, really good. And lastly, I used up this Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara. I love this mascara. I'm not the kind to like really use Mary Kay or anything like that, but I did get this from something. I don't remember. And it's amazing. It's really, really good. I'm really surprised. Um, it just has like a really good wand on it. And because it's like one of those rubbery plastic ones, so you can really get in there because it's small. You can get in like the crevices. Honestly, the wand on this reminds me of the CoverGirl foundation that went out of, like they discontinued last year with the gray and white packaging that I always talked about. So that's probably why I like it so much because it's so similar. So... I think I might repurchase this because it is really, really good. So yeah, that is the end of my empties video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any requests, leave them down in the comments below. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that to keep up with me. But until next time, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.